guys, we're cooking up a storm today. We're in Chiloé, an island in the south of Chile, and we're cooking Caranto. This is packed full of seafood, of pork, of chicken and potatoes. But it's got one of the most unusual methods of cooking I've ever seen in Chile. It's heated stones in a hole in the ground. Let's get to it. I'm out of my tree. This is where it all begins, the pit. So these stones in here have been heating up over the last couple of hours. They just put in some wood to get it nice and burning. And of course these stones are going to be mad hot and they're going to be cooking the food for us later on. Okay, let's start with the seafood. So we've got our clams and we've got our mussels. But watch this. Look at the size of that, huh? Okay, the spuds, right? So they use two types of spuds here. See that? Careful, right, I have a look at this here, Lucy, okay? So this here is basically a giant gnocchi, okay? So it's it's flour and potato, mashed potato and flour. And this one here is mashed potato. And then, here's, here's the mad thing. They grate the skin of the potato back into it raw. And of course, that'll cook in the heat as well. And this also has a bit of pork rind in it. So hey, can't wait for this one. This one's gonna be good. Right, let's get on to the meat. This is called longanisa. And that's a local type of sausage that they have here in Chile. Here is smoked pork. Ah, oh, absolutely gorgeous. Look at these chunks, can't wait for those. And then we have chicken here as well. All that's gonna go in. But here, Lucy, have a look at this. This is probably one of the most interesting parts. I'm not sure in English, can you see it? This is kind of a bush that grows here with these massive big green leaves, yeah? Almost looks like a bit like cabbage, but it isn't. Anyway, this will be used in layers. This will go into layers. Now, I don't know what goes on first, so I'm interested to find out, but they're gonna layer it up with these leaves. Right, can't wait to get cooking. Okay, so all that wood has been burnt, and now we're left with these red hot stones. Quanto kilo size, that is? No. That's, 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 yeah, it's, it's two crates anyway, two crates, folks. I don't know, can this be picked up? Is that sizzling going on? Is the water from these clams and mussels? It's hitting those stones. Right, chicken. Uh, by the way, the potatoes in Chiloé are bloody excellent. They are very, very tasty. They actually rival Irish potatoes, I have to say. I have to admit. Wow, look at those. Right, time for the longanisa, the sausies. Longanisas, yeah. My bell's just saying they're longanisas. I won't call them sausages, they're not sausages. So this is the first layer. Este, ¿cómo se llama? Pangue. Okay. This leaf is called pangue. Maybe somebody comment down below. Maybe someone knows. If there's a person from Chilaway watching this video, just tell us what this is in English if you know. And this, ¿cómo se llama? Ah, this is the milkau. Milkau. Milkau? Ah, milkau. Milkau, yeah. Really big gnocchis. Whoa, they're steaming. My glasses are steaming up. Lo máximo posible es el calor. Lo importante es el estado de la tecnología. Se va a colocar una lona de tecnología que es cuando le damos. Para que no sea como el vino. Y que no a la mano de la una de las que estamos destapando. Y que se nos está tocando. Un aplauso a todas chiquillas. Hey, isn't there something just beautiful about it coming from the ground, from a hole in the ground? It's real hunter-gatherer type recipe, I reckon. We're almost 20 minutes into the cook process and you can see that this steam is just billowing out. Look, this great little dome here where the plastic is, it's looking good. I do have one question from Abel. Why did they put the seafood in first? I always thought seafood cooked 
Just in a matter of minutes, very quickly. I would have expected that at the top, but no, that's the first layer that goes in. So I'm gonna have to ask why that is. Guys, now most of the tourists have gone down to the beach or the local village to have a look around with this cooks. But we're here with our two <laughs> friends. We have Joelle from Montreal. Yeah, hi. Check her out. She's an up and coming comedian in the scene. So check um, her out there. French, yeah? French comedian. Though. French comedian. No, it's in French, Sorry but still. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully someday AI can do subtitles. <laughs> and we have Malu here from France, but hi. she's studying medicine in Trinity College Dublin. Uh -huh. Thumbs up. So you can meet her by becoming ill. <laughs> you just have a fatal yeah. disease or something like that and you'll be able to meet her. So the cook is almost finished. You can see there's a lot less steam coming out. I'm going to help them now take all this out. I can hear the tourists coming back in. We're all starving. <laughs> Completely vapored up. Can't see what I'm doing but anyway. Right, they're, pre they're pretty stuck onto that leaf. There, fuck that one up. <laughs> Oh, layer number two, your milk, milk cow. Okay, well, please ask. Yeah. yeah, it's a lovely smell, because this is, as I said, smoked. I have an argument over here. Come on, that's my piece. Come on, any more. Okay, chicken. Now, this is important. The reason we have the seafood at the bottom is very logical. This is cooked with steam. So obviously on the stones the shell is protected and then all the vapour comes up off that. And that cooks the meat. Yeah, yeah. That's the reason. <laughs> yes, yes, he agrees. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Leave your tree. Yeah. Do follow her. Here, here, look, I got a lot of clams in this one. Yummy. Let's go with two, sure, why not? Salud, salud, salud. Tito. Tito. ¿De qué parte vienen? Irlanda, Ireland. Salud, salud. Salud, salud. Guys, look at this. We're tucking in. Absolutely amazing. I love this. We have a bit of everything. I love the idea that you've got your meat, you've got your chicken, and you've got your seafood. Plus, these are unusual, I have to say. The milk cow. It's a winner for me. It's got the bits of um, bacon inside it, the bacon rind. Quite an unusual taste and texture. We don't have anything like this back home. I give it a thumbs up. Brilliant. Okay, guys, how was it? Is it a thumbs up? Yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah. Guys, what an experience and what a feed. Look, if you're in Chilaway, definitely check out a Coranto. Okay, guys, you know what you have to do? You have to press the like and the notification and comments, and you have to start spreading this to all your friends. Make this the most famous video and all that. But. Maybe you don't want to do any of that. If you don't, doesn't matter, but make sure you see us in the next adventure. And until then, take it easy. But take it! <laughs>